Y'all know I've been reacting to Easy and Natalie. I get a lot of views from those videos. So when I saw that a video was uploaded by Easy about Black Lives Matter, you know I'm about to react now. I've been waiting for this. I don't follow them through any other social media, so I don't have their Twitter, I don't follow them on Instagram, I don't follow them on Snap, so I don't know if they've been talking about the situation that's going on in this world right now. And I was getting a little bit disappointed because they haven't talked about it on YouTube. But from what I heard is that they have been talking about it in the other platforms. But I'm just glad to see that they finally posted something on their YouTube channel. Young Easy Vlogs uploaded a video called, They showed up to our protest and this happened emotional. You already know where I stand with this whole situation. If you don't, click onto that video, please. Pause this video right now, go to that, watch it, and then come back to this video. I'm gonna give you guys some time. Y'all ready? Are y'all back? Okay, let's watch this video. Let's get it. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Oh, check out the rubber guns out. What's up, Easy Gang? Gang, 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 gang. Um, so right now, I'm on my way to protest. Um, and if you haven't protested already, and if you're an influence and you haven't said anything mm. about what's going on today Say regarding it. this George Floyd death and how the cops are treating us, I don't support you. And you don't support the black Say people. it. But right now, Say it. I'm on my way to uh, go protest. I'm super excited. This will be my first protest ever. I made... This was actually my second protest. I, w I protested a few years ago when Donald Trump went into office. I sure as hell was in the streets of Chicago protesting. Feet hurting, swollen and everything. And oh, let me tell you. Ask. We will not be silent. I made them custom made it myself. Link will be in the description if you want to buy one. Support black businesses. A lot of the proceeds will be going to black businesses and also to going to George Floyd's family. So support. Sorry. Cop you a mask. You know what I'm saying? Be safe while protesting. Um, yeah, so this is going to be my first protest and I'm super excited to protest. That's what I love is that even during this pandemic, while the virus is still spreading, we all risked our lives. Every single one of us, we had masks to protect us. At the same time, we were not standing six feet from each other at all. And there was times where we had to put our mask on to really chant what we wanted to chant. There's just some things that you need to risk your life for if you want your children and your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren to have a better life. There's just some things that you have to sacrifice and this is definitely one of them. For my black people. You know, I'm so excited. I'm like, this is this is freaking amazing. This is amazing what we're doing. And it sucks that it has to happen like this for people to actually hear us and, and, and hear our voices as, as black people. But the, the fact that everybody is coming together and we're not going to let police brutality keep us silent. So walk with me, y'all. You know, I know y'all probably, you know, just watching this as a video, but if you can't protest, the time I post this video, I think the protest will probably be over. But regardless, we, you know, I got a platform and I'm ready to just, you know, talk, preach, everything. Mm. Look at this now. Look at this. I can't wait to not do this. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm talking you about. Know? That's what I'm talking you know? about. You yeah. know? We're part of history, bro. History. Just change. Hell yeah, I'm trying to get to the You know what pissed me off? <sighs> Someone at work told me that it's good that people are protesting, but it's not gonna create change. And he's an older man. He lived in the he lived during the 60s. And he said nothing has changed since the 60s. It's still the same. Hate crimes are still happening. Prejudice's happening. Racism is happening. I think you're a little bit confused. <laughs> because if you have not seen progress in this country, then what country are you living in? 
Because of protests, because we have a voice, slavery is no longer, even though incarceration is the new slavery, outside of that, slavery is no longer, segregation is no longer, women can now vote, the gay community can now marry, all because the people of the United States stand up, march, chant, and fight for equality. And I'm not saying that racism is gonna go away because I'm sorry to tell you, racism is not going to go away. It's gonna always exist. But we have to make sure that racism is not part of the law. If you're a cop, you have to abide by the law regardless of how you feel about someone's skin color. If you're a judge, if you're a juror, if you're an employer, your racist opinion or should never affect your decision making when it comes to the law. And we're gonna keep continuing that fight until things get better. Protesting does work. So I can get my people talking. That's what I'm talking about. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. We will not be silent. We will not be silent. Shout out to everybody that's out here protesting. We have a fucking voice and we are showing it. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. so good it feels so good the first three hours I would say three hours of the protest that I was in we made we did a silent protest you know when Martin Luther, when Martin Luther King did his protest they were they were silent as they marched and that's what we did we were silent as we marched I got chills I got chills walking down the street and to hear cars beeping in support of the, of the protest and to hear an old woman standing on the side of the road thanking us okay an older white woman she said thank you for doing this i would if i wasn't as old as i was it just gave me so much chills we finally met where we met and we started doing the chants man i'm telling you it just makes it get so emotional on how everyone of, of different types of colors, different backgrounds, different races, different cultures come together to fight for this cause. I'm telling you. And if you haven't gone to a protest yet, please do so. Look at all these people. Look at all these people behind me. Justice! Justice! Now! Justice! Now! Justice! Now! Justice! In the years you had your knees on our necks, a garden of evil with no seeds of respect. In America's mirror, all she sees is regret. Instead of letting blood live, they begging for blood let. Revenge is a dish that's served on platelets. Transfusion, a confusion, abusing our intellect. I can't be bought with a $1,200 check, even though $1,200 can make a meal stretch. I just want to put my hands up and say, this got to stop, it's got to be a change. And it starts from now, things got to change. looks out for each other everyone feeds each other give them drinks they're there to aid you in case you pass out from from dehydration everyone looked out for each other So I'm on my way home from the protest. Like, I literally lost my voice. Um, my camera died. I literally was out there protesting. I swear to you, protesting for six and a half hours. Yeah. And I feel, I feel so freaking good, man. I think that's yeah. the best feeling I think I've ever had, you know, when it comes to doing something for my city, doing something for my country. Like, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Um, stand for what you believe in. And if you don't believe in it, stop being ignorant and fucking stand anyway.
Right. Okay? I love y'all. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Go out. Do your part. And I sure as hell did mine. I do want to say one thing. I do not believe that all cops are racist. I believe that racism does exist within police departments. I know some of those cops looked at us like I'm with you too. If I could, I'll be right there with you. <laughs> but I can't right now because I, I have to do my job. So I do want to say that I do believe that there's bad cops, but I also believe that there's also good cops. I'm sorry that I talked a lot, but listen, this is, this is something that means so much to me. I'm a woman of color and being a Hispanic lesbian woman, we don't have equal rights as much as we would like in this country. So I can just imagine how anyone in the black community feels because they were treated the worst. The United States of America is a racist country. This country has a history of racism and that's just a fact. But not all of us are racist. And all of us who are not racist, it's our duty to communicate and have conversations with those who are to try to change their minds on how they view the world because if something went wrong in their lives it was either from their upbringing or their experiences but because of that they look at a race so badly so let's do our part you guys make sure you do yours make sure you like comment share and subscribe and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time i upload see you in the next video peace